हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इज द डे थ्री फॉर आवर पॉल ऑल्टो पैनोरोमा सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द हाउ वी कैन अपग्रेड फायर वर्ल्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ पैनोरोमा बट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन अपग्रेड फायर वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम पैनोरोमा एंड हाउ वी कैन डिप्लॉय कॉन्टेंट आई डी लाइक वट एवर द कॉन्टेंट सिग्नेचर वी हैव इन पॉलो ऑल्टो हाउ वी कैन डिप्लॉय दैट information to firewall so this is very practical example that i am going to show in this video so i'll recommend you to please watch this video till the end and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload any any video you'll get notified so without any further delay let's get started so friends before moving to the lab and perform this task we need to understand that there are two ways we can upgrade the firewall okay one is we can do it locally from the firewall itself and the second we will talk about in this video which is from panorama right so let's say you have say few locations so let's say this is usa okay this is you have got london you have got singapore and you have got india okay and you are managing this location with with panorama right all these are connected right now so you cannot upgrade all this in the in the real time environment you cannot upgrade all the firewalls at the same time okay so you have to schedule the upgrades so let's say you are doing in a first week of the month this can be done in the second week this can be third week and this can be fourth week so every week you are upgrading the firewalls now with the help of panorama you can push the images to this locations let's say all the locations are having pair of Paul Alto firewalls. Okay. Now the thing is like uh, uh, this is feasible. You can do it locally as well. There is no requirement that you have to do it from Panorama. But in case if this firewall doesn't have internet, they are not connected to internet. In that case, you cannot upgrade these firewalls locally. What you have to do is. you have to download from software from support portal okay from support portal you have to go and you have to download it and you have to put it in the device then you have you can upgrade it locally otherwise the best option is to push the images from this panorama to this firewalls okay so this is the best option if the firewall doesn't have internet connection in that case you can push this images to all the firewalls okay now with the help of this feature you can deploy the content id like maybe antivirus url filtering signatures application control signatures you can push it from panorama to all this firewalls right so there is no headache that and you can schedule those uh, upgrade uh, deployments as well let's say weekly you want to deploy the signature so you can do that maybe monthly maybe uh, uh, quarterly whatever you wish to do you can do that so with the help of panorama you can do that so basically the firewall will not have internet connection usually because if they are exposed to internet the lot more things they can be accessed and let's say if there is any bug in the uh, in the software in that case your uh, firewall can be compromised so basically what we do is we uh, do not connect the firewall uh, to the internet okay so that is the reason 
in this video it is very practical that you you wish you should know that how we can upgrade the firewall from the panorama okay so let's hit the lab and i'll show you how we can do that so friends uh, let's move on to the lab now and i've taken a very simple diagram over here okay let me explain about it this is our inside this is outside and this is mgmt okay what i have done in this is i have added this palo alto firewall to this panorama there is no rule that i have configured i have configured okay the rule is cross i have configured only the ip addresses that's all okay now uh, if you have seen the day two video i will highly recommend you if you have not seen it please go and watch what i can do is i can put in the i button you can just click on that and you will get that video you can watch it okay before watching this because if you are not if you are not watching that video you will not be able to understand how we can add this uh, firewall to this panorama okay now so friends let's move on to uh, the gui of Palo Alto as well as Panorama. So this is our Panorama, uh, which is, and this is our firewall. Okay. So currently the Panorama is running version 10.1.0. Okay. And our Palo Alto is running 10.0.4. Okay. So the first thing is we cannot go more than what version we are running with Panorama. So let's say right now what we are running is 10.1 and the firewall can run less than this okay we cannot install 10.2.0 or let's say 10.1.1.1 something like this we cannot do that because panorama will not be able to understand firewall and there will be a mismatch and uh, they will not be you will not be able to deploy the configuration right so you have to be always the panorama at the higher version or at the same version or maybe uh, the firewall has to be lesser than what panorama is having okay now so friends uh, to upgrade the firewall what we have to do is we have to go to panorama first okay and you will be seeing one option over here okay so these options so this software dynamic update plugin license and support these are related to panorama right and these are device deployment these are for firewalls right so you will be seeing and you will get confused why there are two softwares right so this is for this device deployment which is only for firewall okay right now as you can see there is one panorama firewall that is not panorama firewall to this uh, panorama only one firewall that is connected right now okay you are seeing the model and you are seeing the serial number and you are seeing the IP addresses and the state is device is connected. Okay. Now, once you go to this device deployment software, okay, now you are not seeing anything because this page is not refreshed. So you have to do and you have to click on this check. Now, let me increase the fronts. Okay. You have to click on this check now. So once you do that, it tries to retrieve the information from the upgrade server. So update server is the uh, the Palo Alto upgrade server. So it gets all the information about it. Okay. So we'll just wait for a moment and all the firewall uh, versions or software versions you'll be seeing over here. So friends, we have got all the versions uh, that is available right now. As you can see, there are a lot of versions. We have like a two, three, five, five items. Okay. So right now 
the software version which is running 10.0.4 right so we'll just go for 10.0.5 okay and we'll see now you will see a version you will see the file name you will see the platform size and the release dates and you can uh, read through the release notes so what are the changes or what are the patching that has been done so you can go through this as well now you have to focus on this platform first okay why you have to focus on this platform is because you have to go whether it's a 52 series 32 series 700 series vm or maybe 220 800 so all this uh, information this is the platform information that you have to look for so right now it is a vm series right so you can go ahead over here and you can just have a look so the model is pavm okay so we have to download for vm so let me rub this off and we'll start downloading this one okay so once it is I'm, I'm just pausing the video for now once it is downloaded i will show you how we can proceed further on this so friends the image is successfully downloaded now what we need to do is we have to install this image to palo alto firewall so we have to click on install and then we'll get a lot of options over here now the thing is here i have only one device that is the reason it is showing this device or you can search all the device like um, you'll be having like list of all the devices you can search with the name okay and then you can deploy that so right now i'm just selecting this palo alto firewall and then i will do two options that i am i'm having it so first is upload only to device do not install it okay maybe we can uh, after installation we can go to the palo alto firewall and we can uh, reboot okay now here or maybe we can install it because once we do the installation then only we can reboot once the installation is complete the palo alto firewall will send a reboot instruction to the follow uh, firewall and the firewall will reboot so we'll select this option and we'll click ok okay so now the, the this progress has been started now so once this progress completes and once the reboot uh, comes i will uh, till that time i'll stop the video and then i'll show you how it goes so now friends as you can see over here the progress is 100 percent completed and the installation has been successfully completed over here and it has sent an instruction to palo alto firewall to reboot now okay so once we see the console of palo alto firewall we can see that it is rebooting right now okay so once this is reboot completes we will see whether it has been upgraded to palo alto firewall to the latest software that we have chosen which is nothing but our 10.0.0.5 okay so this is what we want to show now uh, it has been rebooted uh, we have to wait for some time so till that time i'll just stop the video and once this is rebooted properly i'll i will start the video again okay so friends now we can see the palo alto has been rebooted and uh, we will log in and we'll see whether the firewall has been upgraded now or not okay so friends now we can see that the software or uh, the the image of the palo alto firewall has been upgraded to 10.0.5 which was 10.0.4 okay previously now with the help of panorama we are able to successfully upgrade it to to the next code which is 10.0.5 okay so now friends uh, we'll uh, try to uh, perform the second uh, task which is uh, deploying the content id uh, which is very easy to do that so first of all as we can see over here okay so we have to push the dynamic update what we are having in panorama to palo alto firewall so first of all you have to go to panorama option and then device deployment and then dynamic updates okay from dynamic update once it's rephrased you can push this uh, information the signatures uh, the database what 
the panorama is having you can push this information to firewalls as well as you can set the schedule time like when you want to send weekly monthly or maybe for 15 days something like this you can do that now as you you are seeing this information you can just do a click uh, check now and then uh, it tries to get information from the uh, Palo Alto server like whatever they, they are having the central servers it gets the information and then it will show you so friends now you can see all the uh, upgrades like uh, the antivirus app content everything is there here uh, you will see all the signatures or the database you can see now once we go to schedule okay here we can add it okay now we'll just uh, put a name let's say web okay so web apps okay now uh, the update will be from the update server the type is app or app threads or antivirus whatever you want so let's say i if i select app now how how uh, what will be the reoccurrence like when you want to do this upgrade when you want to push this update so maybe i can choose at weekly okay so now when when you want to send so let's say monday tuesday or maybe sunday night something like that so you can specify the timing as well so let's say 12 o'clock like zero zero so now in action tab what you can do is you can you have uh, two three options okay so right now uh, let's say uh, every time you don't want to install it okay you just download it so i'll just sec select download okay now you have to click on okay so uh, sometimes what happens is uh, uh, there will be a lot of new app id that gets uh, downloaded once a new database creates that time will have a lot of problems in it so i'll recommend you uh, just go through the release notes first and then install it okay so that is the reason i've just down uh, i'm putting the action as a download okay just click okay and there is now you can schedule the antivirus as well so let's say if i want to install antivirus i can just put as antivirus okay virus so that you will act accordingly okay now i will do it for weekly i will just do it sunday maybe zero zero and then uh, action is only download once you feel like that you have to push this information once this is downloaded you'll you'll have the option to install it and then you can install this information to all your uh, firewall wherever you want to do that okay now uh, this is uh, what i wanted to cover uh, there are a lot more things that i need to cover for this particular topic let's say uh, how we are going to do uh, perform HA uh, upgrades right so this is one of the interesting topic that I I wanted to cover which I am going to cover in this series okay so I will request you to please subscribe and click the bell icon so that whenever I upload any video you'll get notified okay and in this video this is what I wanted to cover uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video